Just got off of work so out here in that, at the parking lot in front of my job so i'm about to go ahead and head on to the sheep's head spot and see if we can get some sheeps i'm gonna try to i got like two hours it's uh four o'clock now so at 4 30 is dead low so i should be able to walk in the water and get some sheeps near the trees so i'm gonna record the whole thing and uh talk talk y'all through it and how i catch my sheep's head so we'll see what we can do all right later hey, all all right y'all it's raining and um, this is what I'm going to be using today. Just one pole. Take it with me. It's a GX2 ugly stick. It's a kid's pole, but it's $40 at Walmart or any fish store. And basically this is the hook I'm using. I'm using number two, number two owner hook. Number two owner hook with a little slip shot. That's all I'm using today. Don't need nothing really expensive to get on these sheets. It makes you got like 60 a 40 pound uh, braid, Power Pro braid on my line. So, good enough to catch some sheep's head. Let's see what we can do. You got fiddlers. I caught these today during my lunch break. So, that's what I got doing lunch. Plenty of them. Some under the ground too. This is the tree that I used to sit on back in the day, but looked like it fell all the way. But uh, this is where I'm going to be uh, sheep's head fishing from. First, I'm gonna chuck some of these oysters in there, get them all ready, and rowdy it up. I'm gonna drop the hook. Got the oysters. It's raining out here, by the way, but I don't care. I know they're gonna still bite. I'm just gonna throw this bunch of oysters right in there. Don't need that much. Don't wanna overfeed them. Because if you overfeed them, they're gonna be full and not gonna bite your fiddler. So you never wanna chum too much. That should be good enough. Let's see what we get. Try not block the camera. We're getting a bite already. Go back out there. Maybe I'll snag on something that probably wasn't a bite. Go to bite. Yep. Oh, he got me, y'all. See, this is what happens. So now that we know they're down there, they're not going nowhere. They're gonna constantly be there. I just gotta find a way to hook my fiddler. That's good enough for me to set the hook in them. So basically, I'm gonna throw right back out where I was. got to be 14 inches and above so we don't want no small ones we just want them 14 inches and above I'm here fishing in South Carolina so we'll keep on tossing it till one sees it and hits it I got about two hours of play time for the tie start coming back in and I got to back up a lot of rocks down there back when I start getting a feeling the bite. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock some of these barnacles in the water. That'll attract them better. A small one right now. A little teeny guy. Way under. somewhere I 
took my bait off. Right there, it's got snack right on it. Okay. Put my hook right then replace my hook and I'll be right back. I'm going to the smaller fiddler so it can cover the whole number two hook. So let's see what that does. Usually they'll swallow the whole thing. So I'm tired of slack right now, so they're not biting this better. That's good. Oh, it's in his mouth. See, he crushed it right there. Let's just get a new filler. I just hook them to the side and bring them at the bottom, like so, so they can hide the whole hook and then move it. See what that does. Ooh, got him. Got him. That's a nice size one. That's definitely 14. See, the big ones, they bite. They bite real small, but they really, whew. Just trying to get them over that log. Yes, sir. You get them up here. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. These big ones like this, they bite real light. So you think it's something small biting. But it's these suckers right here. That's what I'm talking about. Number two owner hooks. This sucker way over 14. Let me set him. Oh, man. Oh, he didn't break my hook. Now he bent it, though. You know where he going, ladies and gentlemen. See how this one right here. Let's see, hold him by the eyes. But this sucker's strong as hell. But there you go, right there. Nice old sheep head. Into the bucket you go. I didn't know he was on there. Golly. This one's bigger than the last one. Holy smokes, y'all. I can't, I can't miss him. Let's just play around with this one. <clears throat> oh, shit. No. Sir. Cannot play around with this one, y'all. Jeez. Woo. Y'all saw that. Holy smokes. Yo. Man. Woo. Number two owner, boy, I swear. That sucker. Woo, 
Ooh boy, caught a big one, then I caught an even bigger one. Shoot, I thought it was snagged on something. Caught that with a number two on the hook, the real small hook too. Oh, missed him. I got my bait, nope, still on there. It's another one, big one down there. I tell you, those big ones, they bite light. You think it's a small sheep's head? So as you, they ain't set the hook, that mugs are pulling you back down. I did some some them barnacles and the oysters in there. I bring them big boys down there. I told you, telling you, you don't need no cheap, no expensive two hundred dollar pole, hundred dollar pole, nothing like that. So all you need is a little cheap, good sturdy, ugly stick with a nice good old reel. This whole combo cost me forty dollars, and look at that. Some people laughed at my little teeny Shakespeare pole, but it's really no the strain. That's all you need, as long as you got the good uh, Power Pro, that's all you need. And sometimes you get the toad fish out of here. It's a pain in the butt. Another filler. You gotta get him out the water. set the hook on this one. Got him. Oh! Had him, y'all. Almost. Should have like three more tries. I had my camera on. I had to cut it off and had to put it back on. And a little small one. Get out of here. Happens. Just takes the whole thing. Into another one. Not really big. I think he'll make the cut though. Yeah, he'll make the cut. It's about 14 or 15. Oh boy. Let's try and go under that log right there. Now, so now I got step in the water. This is about the 14 inches. Yeah. The sheep's head is only 4.55 pounds. Right here. 